What's up everyone, Tao here. Uh, welcome to my video. Uh, in today's video, I'm hoping to clarify some misunderstanding on the PCI Express uh, standard, uh, which means the PCI Express 16 lane, A lane, 4 lane, and a single lane. Just want to quickly tell you guys what I have here on the table. Uh, I have a Mini ITX motherboard is from ASUS or ASUS uh, is the Z97 uh, motherboard is chipset I have there's only one um, PCI Express 16 slot um, so here I have a EVGA 1080 uh, 1080 <laughs> I wish I have a, a EVGA 1050 Ti super clocked graphics card that's the X16 um, now here I have a Sun Micro Quad Gigabit Ethernet uh, networking card which is the uh, X4 or interface. Uh, finally I have here a, a RAID card. I had this for a long long time. I actually never got time to use it. Here's the uh, Express uh, 1 and connection. So now um, the fact is you can use Express 1, 4, 8 uh, connection cards onto the uh, uh, PC Express 16 lane slot. Now the 1, 4, 8, 16 that is the lane which is um, a PCI Express that's the slot it has 16 lanes, so it's maximum 16 lanes. As long as the card you're gonna um, put plug into the slot, it's no greater than the 16 lanes and that will work. Now in terms of the speed and performance, the limitation is the actual interface card. So if you expect you plug one of these, which is the uh, single lane onto a 16 lane PCI Express slot, uh, you will not gain the performance at all even though the 16 lane perf uh, speed is way greater than the uh, one lane performance but the limitation is on the interface card and so on so that is very important so that also apply to the four lane uh, interface so you can see the difference and um, that uh, let me see if you can get this right. Um, can you see it? See, the, the one in the front is the falling Pisa Express falling or X4. The one at the back is PCI Express X1, so a single lane. So, am I right? No, not doing this right. Yep, like this. That probably is easier. Can you guys see it? Uh, well, okay. Anyway, I hope you guys can actually see it. So that's the X4, that's X1. Now here is the uh, graphics card PCI interface, which is the, uh, use all the 16 lanes. So, that is compared to the four lane you can see now there is another standard which is a uh, eight lane which is x8 um, unfortunately i don't have any interface card in hand to show you guys but i uh, will work on the pci express x16 slot which is six lane speed now let me just um, plug every single interface card into the 16 lane slot just to let you guys to see uh, that physically fits. So here, uh, let me try the X1 card first. So PCI Express X1. Here it is. Plug in very snugly. So that is the interface. Now again, there's performance you will not gain any performance improvement at all because the connection or the connection the limitation is on the card 
Now the second is the X4, which is PCI Express fall-in. Uh, I'm just gonna plug this one in. Uh, where is it? Okay, here we go. That's the interface. Okay, now in terms of the, uh, the, the speeds or the performance, uh, the, the more lane, uh, the faster the transmission speed or the transfer rate will go. Uh, for example, the six lane will be uh, the, trans the, 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 the transfer rate or the speed or the bandwidth, that, that's the right phrase, the bandwidth, uh, will be greater than the eight, 16 greater than eight, eight greater than four, and four greater than a single lane. So finally, this is the 16 lane graphics card. Uh, here we go. That is how it looks like. So if you if you put a 16-lane uh, graphics card into a 16-lane slot, so in terms of the performance graphics card will reach his optimum um, performance bandwidth. Uh, I actually did unboxing this video, did I mention that? I actually did unboxing video of this particular graphics card. I will put a link uh, at the end of this video. Please watch to the end and uh, click on the video and you can watch the unboxing video of this card. Uh, yeah, that, that, that's it. Um, that's the end of this video. Hopefully this video actually helped you guys out there who actually uh, don't know the or not sure exactly the difference between those PCI Express standards or if you can use a PCI Express 148 uh, connection onto a 16 lane slot. Uh, yes, the answer is yes you can. Right, um, some of you uh, may ask can I use a PCI Express 16 lane on a Falling slot. Um, the answer is yes, you can. However, uh, most motherboard manufacturer will uh, prevent you to do that uh, because, uh, for example, this is the PCI Express 16 lane um, slot. Most manufacturer uh, will have a end at the end of this slot, which is blocking any other longer card to uh, plug into it uh, that will apply to the PCI Express uh, A-Lane, four-lane and a single-lane uh, slot. So you can't really, technically, you can, but you know, uh, if you do want to plug in a, well, not using that, for example, the uh, four-lane PCI Express card into a, uh, a one-lane slot, you might have to uh, modify the PCI uh, slot in order to accommodate the extra length of the uh, interface card. Now, in terms of the performance, you will not get the times four or the four lane bandwidth performance uh, because of the limitation of the slot because under the day it's only a single lane slot. So the bandwidth wise is only is the PCI Express a single in bandwidth. Uh, yeah, so you can do both ways. Okay, um, this is the end of the video. Um, hopefully this video helped you guys uh, understand better um, on the PCI Express interface. Um, if you did uh, like the video, please share to others so uh, we can get the knowledge across. And if you didn't like the video, you know what to do. Uh, you please subscribe if you want to uh, see more video like this in the future. Uh, see you in the next video.